Cameron, great to talk to you. The big news today, of course, is that you've signed on at Celtic permanently for four years. The fans are delighted. That's a bit of an understatement. How pleased are you to finally get this over the line? Yeah, no, I'm delighted as well. Um, you know, I really enjoyed last season. I enjoyed working with the manager and, and, and the group of players there. And, and yeah, I think I feel the back of that. I kind of knew I wanted to stay there and it was just trying to get the deal done and over the line. I think I'm right in saying that your time at Tottenham, you were out on loan seven times. What was it about Celtic that made you want to put your roots down? Just as I was saying last, I think last season was great. Uh, not just for me, but for the team as well. And, you know, turning up to all the home games and even the away games, the support that we got as a team was, was magnificent. And that, that was definitely part of it. You knew about the supporters before you came, and I'm sure you'd heard about the size of the club, but a lot of players say they don't really understand it fully until they're here. Um, I take it the, the level of support that you've had from the fans is a, is a massive reason that you've decided to stay on. Yeah, no, like you were saying, I agree. I, I, I've heard stories and or heard from players that um, used to play up, up, up in Scotland, but I don't think you really do realise until you're up, up here yourself. And um, it was a bit of a surprise, but it's also really enjoyable and it's great to kind of play in them, them environments and them atmosphere. Looking ahead then to the the next season, the first one of your of your next four, um, some huge games coming up. What are, what are your plans and what are your aims and ambitions for the times ahead? Uh, I think we as a team and we just got to kind of build on what, what we've done last season. Um, obviously it was great to win the league last year and obviously that's something we we'll want to do next year as well. Um, and yeah, and obviously just test ourselves in Europe. I think with the Champions League, we're going to be playing against some great teams and, and great players. So to see where we kind of measure up, we're good. Yeah, big news today, of course. Have you been having any messages from your teammates? Yeah, a few of the boys messaged me. A few put um, a few messages in the group chat and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been good to talk to. Me. I haven't spoken to a few of them since the since the end of the season. So yeah. You, you mentioned the Champions League games ahead. It's something that we're all looking forward to. You, but for yourself as well. I mean, you're you're talking to us from from Texas ahead of a big. USA match against uh, Granada. You've got a Champions League and a World Cup to look forward to as well. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, obviously with the, with the Champions League, it'll be great to, to play in that. That's kind of the, the best competition in club football that there is. So to, to be involved in that will be great. And then, yeah, talking about the World Cup, uh, it's something that you know I'm trying to work towards to be in the squad and, and I make sure I'm there um, with, with USA. So, yeah. When you read the manager's quotes about how pleased he is to, to finally get you to sign permanently, it must give you real confidence and, and reassurance that, that the manager is desperate and was delighted to, to see you sign this deal? Yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, no, it's, it's uh, hopeful when you know you know that the manager trusts you and he, he believes in you. And um, I think me and, and the rest of the players also believe in him and, and we all um, we believe that he'll take us or lead us in the right way. I think that, that's, that was important last year and I think it'll be important going forward as well. I don't know if you've kept up to date on social media with the, the fan reaction to your signing. Have you seen much of it? Uh, not too much, but it's like you said, we, we got a game uh, this afternoon, so I'm trying to kind of just um, stay focused on that game really and, and kind of stay away from it a little bit. All right, well, when you do get the time, Cameron, I, I urge you to, to have a look. To say the fans are excited might be the understatement of the season. We're all delighted as well. Best of luck in the game of the USA and we can't wait to see you back here in Glasgow. Thank you. Cheers.